6 a.m. Absolutely. 6.06 to be exact. It is going to be a good day today. It's nice and chilly out right now. Going up to a, a nice 81 degrees today. We are actually headed to Baggers and Brews meet and greet in Hamilton, New Jersey. So it's about probably a little over a two hour ride down to the guys, to Bert and George. And we're gonna be chilling out over there from about 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And then we're gonna be headed back home. So right now I'm meeting the guys and then we're gonna meet a couple other guys around by the turnpike area. And then we're gonna be going straight down to Fielder's Pub in Hamilton, New Jersey. It's in the low 50s right now, maybe high 40s. Rocking my Crossfield Indy Ridge boots with my Power Sport gloves. Let me tell you guys, they are absolutely the best riding boots and gloves that you can buy on the market, bar none. The most comfortable. I know a lot of you guys have been buying the Indy Ridge boots. You guys are sending me messages and emails how much you guys love the products. I appreciate you guys. I'll sleep in these damn boots. That's how comfortable they are. Hope everyone is doing well. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Because let me tell you, uh, we're going to be on a roller coaster this year, boys. I need some coffee. Come on, guys. What's better than a Harley Davidson in the morning, huh? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Make some quick downshifts here. Slow her down. Oh, nothing like it, man. I'd, leave, I'd love leaving early in the morning. Nobody on the roads. Bike sounding crisp. Nothing better. We got Dave over there, Hudson Moto Visuals. We got Joe. We got his son, Nick. We got Bo. We're gonna go meet Nadal and fly and ride down south now. About a 30 minute ride. Let me tell you, putting back the Memphis Shades hand guards and the 11 inch, it is a world of difference. Yeah, the other shorter one may look a little better, a little sportier, but it's so much more enjoyable on the bike with the Memphis Shades hand guards on. I got my heated grips on, my hands are nice and toasty, wind's not hitting them. It's just so much more quieter with the 11 inch clockwork sport flare on, not getting beaten in the head with that wind or bugs. Definitely the way to go if you guys are doing long trips, a lot of miles on the bike, the only way to go. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, nice. Beautiful, bro. <laughs> Sweet, man. Oh, is it? Mr. Tuna and the new bike. <laughs> oh, dude, beautiful, bro. Now you're talking. Huh? Like How you feel? Like a new man? Dude, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Now we're going to be heading straight down to Fielder's Pub. Go meet Baggers and Brews. Go have a good time.
Let's see who's faster, 117 CVO stage two or mine. <laughs> 107 baby <laughs> he thought he was gonna leave me <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah baby ah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> It's lighter, that's why. That's why I keep telling you guys, power to weight ratio is huge. All right, fourth gear. about baby I'm gonna say they're dead even dead even because I dropped a lot of weight on the bike and that's huge that is like so big the power to weight ratio is huge so this is a 107 guys stage two I got about 117 <laughs> I got about 117 horsepower and 116 foot-pounds of torque only because it's a 107 it's an SNS 475 cam he's got we'll go over I forgot what cam he's got but he's got the 117 stage 2 I think it's a 468 if I'm not mistaken I follow we'll talk about it later but you can see it my bike is lighter and that's why it could keep up that's amazing so he's got 10 more cubic inches because of the weight difference, I probably, my bike's probably about, I'm gonna say 50 pounds lighter than his. And that makes a huge difference. Just that 50 pounds. If you guys don't remember, you guys are new to the channel, then you guys could check out all the videos when I did the build on Mad Max. And you could see all the weight that I reduced on the bike wow absolutely amazing that was that was pretty cool to see so if you guys are worried like oh i need a 117 no you don't so to make your bike faster you could do three things obviously build a motor bigger and stronger more horsepower right more torque or number two lighten the bike up lose weight on the bike whatever you could do carbon pieces carbon front fender rear fender lighter wheels i mean shit i could have dropped probably another good i don't know maybe 10 pounds just going with carbon wheels or lose weight yourself <laughs> don't eat for a couple weeks but no you don't want to do number three but you know what i'm talking about it's it's unbelievable how mad max could stay right there with a CVO Street Glide 117. Amazing. This friggin' cam, the 475, man, let me tell you, it pulls hard to 6,500 RPM. Wait to get to Fielder's Pub. I want to hear what Flying Ride's got to say about this. <laughs> footage ain't gonna lie, man. Footage is not gonna lie. <laughs> I think Flying Ride was waving goodbye a little too early. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby so from the footage guys i want everybody drop a comment down below what do you think were we even was i slowly pulling on him or was he slowly pulling on me drop a comment below guys let me know that was a hell of a lot of fun i think it's also a good comparison for you guys to see how much a 107 can do if you do a stage two versus a 117 stage two if you only drop some weight huge huge difference oh yeah look at that. banging them corners baby 
what an absolutely phenomenal day. <laughs> Thank you, God. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Flying ride got the juice. <laughs> All right, we are here, Fielder's Pub, Hamilton, New Jersey, over here at the Baggers and Brews. Uh, meet and greet and uh, group ride. I'm actually going to be here probably until about uh, 11 or 11.30 until kick stands up and then I got to head back home. We're going to check out all the bikes, hang out with all the guys. Got a nice turnout so far, but it's still early. There's Bert's bike. There's his wife's bike. Beautiful. Look at this thing. Look how clean this thing is. Beautiful. There's George's bike. What are, you, what are you drinking already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you drinking already, bro? Uh, uh, orange, a little too early orange juice. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, it's too late for orange juice. <laughs> Where's yours, Nadal? I'm gonna get the pink. <laughs> When did you get it? Last year. Uh, last, yeah, last year in April. Thank you. All uh, right, you smart man. You got the chrome works on there? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes, sir. Appreciate hey. you, man. Thank Every you so day, much. Thank you, man. Thank Appreciate you, it. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Come over here. Let me see the bike. Let me Hi. see. Finally, finally I get know. get to meet. You've been Woo. you've been avoiding me. Is that's that what, what it is? That's what Robert says. <laughs> Robert says the same thing. Let me see the bike. There she is. Oh, look how little. Desiree from Win Road Therapy. Yes, there is my beautiful. It is gorgeous. I love the paint scheme. Oh, reef the blue paint scheme. and beautiful. vivid black. Gorgeous bike. And, I, and we're all admiring the saddlebags and the tour pack. Thank you. Really nice. I appreciate that. I think it looks a lot better than if you were to go with a heart. This looks really nice on yes. the bike. Yes. Yeah. I thought about this it. Is you. Yeah. Yes, this is me. It's really we have the nice. Same bike. Oh, do we? Yeah. yeah. Mine's right. right over there. I'll show it to you when you're done. In the same clothes or no? No, no I see. It's a teal. No, teal mine's a girl the, color. The teal green. What are you doing this year? What's your plans? Oh, man. What's your plans? Woo, five months on the road. Five months on the road? Five months on the road with the RV and the bike in the in the oh, RV. So, oh, so you have the RV the up RV here. The RV is here. We, we, um, I picked up Kelfire yesterday uh -huh. in Virginia. Uh -huh. 
And uh, yeah, from here we go to American, Maine. Oh, so you're gonna be in American? I'll be at American. All right, American. all right, I'll be there one day. Okay. And then after American, going to Laconia. Nice, I'll be there too. And okay. There's a meetup in Ohio at the end of June. All right. That's Ohio Windy Nine. Okay. Windy Nine? No. Yeah. No, I'm, nice. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, you haven't been there yet? No. Oh, okay. But they say right. the triple nickel. Gotcha. Did you, did you ride with Adam at all? I did, I okay, did. Okay, because I seen we, some posts. We nice. rode from Ocala, Warhorse, Holly Davidson to Gainesville. Oh, nice. So it was Sweet. nice. How was, was it? Good? It was good time? Great. Yeah. Oh, it was an awesome great time. cause. So, yes. Yeah. That's awesome. 100%. Guys, check out her channel. All right. What else you got? Instagram? Instagram. TikTok? What do you got? I know. TikTok. You got TikTok, TikTok too? TikTok too. Awesome. All right. Yes. So it's all Wind Road Therapy. Wind Road Therapy. Wind Road on Facebook. I don't know why. Okay. All right. Thanks. Pleasure seeing you. Yes. It was Pleasure great meeting you. you. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> All right, thank you. Make sure you check out Baggers and Brews on YouTube. Bags, brother. Appreciate you, man. Brad the Biker was here. Check him out on YouTube. Brody Riders. Desiree from Wind Road Therapy. 